I'm back! Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. So now that we're done with weird intros, I am back after what has been like a month and a half or two months of not posting on YouTube. Even though I said I wanted to post like once a month, but whatever. It's all good. I've been busy with school stuff, but you know. Alright, so yeah, I'm bringing to you guys today a product review? No, I don't want to call it that. It is a... Uh... Hmm. Help me come up with a name for this thing. Oh, idea. Okay. Essential products for curly girls. That's what this is. I have for you today some essential products for girls with curly hair, thick, thin, it doesn't matter, curly hair that will help you fight frizz all day long and will help you just care for your hair so you have nicer, healthier hair. So we're gonna start with the styling products and then get into the like healthcare type products later. So the first thing I have is the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream and it says defines, moisturize, and strengthens strands. So basically, it's really like, I don't, I'm not recommending products really in this video, I'm just recommending different types of things. So I would recommend a curling cream. Any type of curling cream is good, but this is the one that I use. Um, this one in particular has really thick consistency so if you have thick hair I would definitely recommend this one because it does lay your hair down and when you have more products in your hair like heavier thicker products it weighs your hair down and that way you have no frizz and you can go to school and you can go to work without worrying anything about your hair because you know it's about to be banging for the whole day. The next thing I have is the another Cantu product. I like Cantu by the way because it's cheap. They give you a lot and it works. So yeah, so the next thing I have is the Cantu Define and Shine Curl Custard. So this is one of those extra things. Like you don't have to have this, but I do recommend it, especially if your hair is thicker, because it does hold everything together. Like this is the last product I will put in my hair and it keep like ever since I started using it I've noticed that my curl structure is definitely more defined and it just holds together a lot better I mean it does leave a kind of crispy mousse like texture in your hair after it dries but I mean I'm fine with my hair feeling crispy but some girls are like they don't want that hard stuff in their hair but if you don't like that then I wouldn't recommend this but it does hold your hair so if you have thicker longer hair then I would recommend a curling custard. The next thing I have is the Palmer's Olive Oil Formula Moisturizing Hair Milk. And I use the coconut one too. They have a coconut oil one that I do use. Um, this thing, I don't really see, it doesn't really make a difference in my hair, honestly, but it does help to weigh my hair down. So it's just a hair milk, like you can get a, any regular hair milk. There's nothing really too special about this specific product, but this is what I use. I mean, it works. It's like $5. It does the job. It keeps my hair down, and the frizz is away. Like, even in high humidity, all this stuff, I'm telling you, will help you. And the last thing I have for styling products, obviously, is going to be gel. This is the Wetline Extreme Professional. Like, a lot of people use Eco Style or whatever. I mean me gel is gel like these are the two ones i have i got them from walmart this was like three bucks and this was like two or a dollar no not even this was a dollar this was two so i mean gel is gel to me they hold really really well i this is what i use and i do my edges if you want a tutorial on that i got you i can do one later um but yeah i mean it's just gel like you can use the eco styler i know the eco styler has glitter in it which i think is pretty cool so i might try it but, I mean, gel is gel, it does the same thing. Who cares? Oh. Alright, so now, moving on to the healthcare products. These are the kind of products that you would do 
for mainly like the main benefit of these products is just to keep your hair healthy so the first thing I have is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner this stuff is the juice like literally if you're trying to grow your hair out I had I had perm all throughout my hair like my hair was relaxed and I did I didn't really do a big chop but I slowly cut my hair like every month I would cut an inch until it was all gone and like this stuff really helped my hair grow back to its natural length I mean I, th I still think I have more to go but this is about the length I was at before I started cutting my hair off but anyways just a general leave-in conditioner but I really really do recommend the Shea Moisture it is slightly more expensive than all the other products I have here this one is 10 10 to 13 dollars I would say it depends on if you get the bonus size or the regular size but this is the bonus size I got it at Walmart for like 10 dollars but trust me like it like the Jamaican black castor oil just makes your hair, it smells really good and it helps your hair grow. So if you're looking for a hair growth product, this stuff is really, really good. So leave-in conditioner, basically for curly girls, you always wanna have leave-in conditioner no matter what you're doing. Leave-in conditioner, leave-in conditioner, leave-in conditioner. It helps keep your hair moisturized. I mean, if you have, if you have a thicker consistency hair like mine, you definitely wanna use a cream product. This one's almost done, but it, you definitely want to use a cream product so that it can help weigh your hair down, especially in the sun, like in the humid heat and everything like that. But if you have like a thinner, lighter type of hair, then you can you definitely use like a liquid spray leave-in conditioner, but some type of moisture because curly hair dries out, like it dries out. So you always want to keep it moisturized. The next thing I have is this vital ores hair repair vital oils for hair and scalp so basically what I'll do is like after I wash my hair I want to say I do this regularly but I really don't I should though you um you just kind of part your hair and you just work it into your scalp and after you're done you kind of just massage it in there like it feels trust me like when you're massaging it into your hair it feels so good and this really does help your hair grow too because you're putting moisture back into your scalp and then once you massage you're getting that blood flow and it's putting it back into your cuticles and then your hair starts to grow good times good times the other type of oil i have is this spray olive oil from palmers the same thing that goes it goes it's like a set kind of but I mean, I don't really use this because it tends to make my hair greasy, but when I first started cutting my hair after I got the relaxer, this stuff really helped me, or just any kind of oil really. I recommend castor oil, argan oil, coco coconut oil, especially like natural coconut oil. When you, after you wash your hair, you put some coconut oil in like deep condition with it and then rinse it out, so good. But yeah, any type of oil I would definitely recommend. I don't really use oil that much anymore because I have like my leave-in conditioner will help me put some moisture in. And my hair is already pretty healthy right now. But when I was cutting my hair, like getting the relaxer out, trust me, my hair was so dry. Like I needed every type of deep condition type product to get all that moisture back in my hair but now i'm good but i mean if you guys have really dry hair i would definitely recommend some type of oil this one is just the olive oil little, little, little can't talk <laughs> olive oil conditioning spray all right and then the last two things i have is just your regular shampoo and conditioner that just went everywhere hey. shampoo and conditioner this is the first time I'm actually trying this product. This is the Ren Pure Originals. It was on sale at Walgreens for $5 each, so it came up to $10. But I think it, it usually goes for like eight to 10 bucks each. But I just love this stuff. Like, it smells, the smell is kind of different. I'm not gonna say it smells good. I think it smells good, but I take, it took me a while to get used to it because before, the first time I smelled it, I was like, what is this? It's kind of weird. The smell is very, very different, but it smells like a professional salon. Like this stuff smells like $21 worth of shampoo and conditioner. I'm telling you, it smells, it's very different, but I think it smells, it smells clean. So 
whatever that means but yeah you definitely curly girls please 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 do not be using no fruities herbal essences pantene no that stuff has sulfates chemicals all that stuff and trust me like sometimes i might occasionally like if i'm visiting family and that's the only shampoo they have sometimes i'll use it and i feel the difference in my hair like my hair just dries out and the texture of it just feels so brittle and disgusting but when you use stuff like this like stuff that is made for natural hair like it literally says zero sulfates parabens dyes gluten full of fates proline blah blah blah. it when it says that it has none of that that means it's the type of product that you need to be using because all that kind of chemical stuff it really gets to your hair it dries it out and it makes the texture so bad and it can help it helps to facilitate unhealthy hair and that's what you don't want so yeah definitely try and start looking for products that have zero sulfate zero dye zero parabens stuff like that so yeah i hope you guys found this video really really helpful and i just really hope you guys enjoyed my first beauty type video on this channel please like comment subscribe um also this might be the last video you guys see me in with my braces because I'm getting them off next week Wednesday. Hey, party. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for three years to get them off. And now I can finally say that I only have a week left. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. All listed down below. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. And yeah, bye.